Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for coming. If you're old, thank you for being around. Today's video, as you can tell from the title, we are going to go step by step over how to customize your iOS 14 home screen for your Apple iPhone. If you're here, if you clicked on this video, maybe it's because you trust me. Maybe it's because you like the way that I have done mine and you trust me and you like my style. Maybe you just clicked on me to make fun of me, to find something to poke fun at me about, to, pick, to poke fun at me for. And if that is the case, then you will not have to look hard. Anyways, this video is basically a tutorial on how to make your home screen aesthetic and beautiful and calming and make all your friends at school jealous if you go to school. When I first saw the iOS 14 update, actually my husband showed it to me because he is an app developer, therefore he got a little sneak peek and tried out the update before everybody else got it for probably like a month or something. Um, and when I first saw it, I did not like it. I did not like the change. I like to stay comfortable. I like to know, you know, exactly where everything is and it was just too different for me. It's like when Facebook updates are just kind of like, eh, everyone hates it, but then they get used to it. So I decided to give it a chance and after I gave it a chance and after I watched a couple of the tutorials myself, I was very excited and actually very pleased with the update and how my home screen can be a place of solace and of, you know, beauty instead of craziness and red notifications. The first iOS 14 home screen I actually saw, like little tutorial that I saw, was my friend Erica on Instagram. Her Instagram name is Fashion Lush. I'm sure you've heard of her. She's so cute. Her aesthetic, her style is on point and you guys need to follow her on TikTok and Instagram because you just do. So after I saw how she made and customized her home screen, I was like, okay, I've got to do this. I need to um, change mine immediately to match my aesthetic. This is my doggy. I love you, chin scratch. So basically in today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how I updated my phone, how I added these widgets in, how I customized them, how I made these icons, all of this together. Before we get into the nitty gritty of today's YouTube video though, I want to give a huge shout out to Ana Luisa and tell you guys about them because they are today's sponsor and I'm obsessed with Ana Luisa. They're a sustainable jewelry company based in New York City. They have beautiful pieces for an affordable price, high quality. It's basically just like the best of everything that you could get in a jewelry store. This year I've been trying to be more sustainable and more thoughtful with each decision that I make. So thank goodness I found Ana Luisa. I got this locket from them. I got this chain and this chain. This chain necklace actually is my favorite necklace of all time. I wear every single day. I also have a lot of huggies from them. So I'm planning on getting my second piercing soon. Don't I'm sorry, mom and dad, if you're watching this. I actually also got these little huggies, which are so pretty. You know, it'd be a cute little combo. I also got this cute bracelet. And almost every day I'm wearing something from Ana Luisa. A lot of jewelry companies, first of all, don't tell you where they get their gold from because it usually takes 20 tons of mining to create one solid gold ring, which is why Ana Luisa uses 100% recycled gold in all of their jewelry. You know you're getting high quality jewelry because they use the same materials as Louis Vuitton and Tiffany. So you're getting great jewelry here for a great price. I really, really think that you guys will love Ana Luisa. Go check out their website. I put a link in the description box with my promo code CJade10, which is going to give you 10% off your purchase. Really, you're welcome. Okay, so like I was saying about the home screen, I was a little iffy at first. I didn't know if I wanted to go full in and, you know, customize my home screen because I was like, eh, that's dumb. It's not dumb. And now that I've done it, it really makes me so happy when I unlock my phone and I get to see this. No red icons. I know some people don't like the idea. Um, when you change the icon, you can't see the notifications. Honestly, that's the best news I've ever heard. But we're gonna start from the very beginning here on this tutorial, okay? So first of all, you need to have an iPhone. Sorry, Android users. I'm sure you have a lot of other cool things to do. So you have to have an iPhone and you have to be able to get the iOS 14 update. If you haven't updated your phone yet, I will show you how to do that right now. You're gonna go to your settings app, click on that, go down to general, right there above control center, click on software update, 
and that's where your update will show up. Obviously mine's already updated, but click install and there you go. Okay, so now that your phone is updated, things are gonna be looking a little different. They're gonna be looking a little funky and that's okay, we're gonna get used to it, okay? So first and foremost, when we are picking out a theme or picking out a color scheme or picking out you know the aesthetic that we're going for you have to pick out the widget color first so that leads us to our first step download the widget and the shortcuts app these are the two apps that you're going to need to really customize your home screen so go to your app store download the shortcuts app download the widget smith app and wait for them to download and then we can go for it so now that you have the widget smith app on your phone, we have to look at the actual colors of the widgets available because there's a limited amount of colors. So you want to make sure that your color scheme matches with one of those colors, otherwise you're kind of screwed. So that being said, let's go look at the widgets. So once you open the Widget Smith app, you're going to click on the Add Small Widget button. That's going to create a new widget. So we're going to go ahead and click on that new widget that we just created. Click on the default widget big button right there and that's going to bring us to all of our different options for creating this widget and customizing it but right now we're just going to go to the background color tab now we can see all of the colors that it offers us the blue is really cute the pink's cute the cream's cute but i liked the dark green like i said so i kind of based my theme off of that green now we're going to actually add the widgets onto our home screen so again click add small widget we're going to start with the small ones Click on the widget you just created, click on default widget. That's going to bring you to the customization options. Um, and this is where you're gonna choose which widget you want. I personally like the calendar ones. I think they're cute. So we're gonna click the, um, actually they have the battery one. That one stresses me out. They have temperature ones, which I like because we live in a place where the temperature is really nice. So we're gonna go with that one. So change location, Los Angeles. Obviously right now the weather's not amazing, obviously by the 104 degrees, but I like the New York font. We're gonna go to tint color of white. Now we get to pick our background color. So you have all these options, but again, like I said, I liked the dark green one. So we're gonna go with that one for now. Now go down to border color. I like no border. And we're gonna go back, go to save. So that's gonna save our widget. And there we have it. The small number four is the one that we just created. So now we're going to add that to our home screen. So hold down anywhere on your screen and then go up to this plus button right here. And we're gonna scroll all the way down to widget smith. Click on that. And we're adding the small widget that we just created. So push add widget. And that should add your latest widget anywhere onto the screen. Now you can kind of move it around, see where you like it. Okay, so now that you know how to create and customize a widget, we can add as many as we want. So let's go back to the plus sign, scroll down to the widget smith option, pick that. And we can add a large widget, a medium widget. So let's try and add a medium widget in there. And I will get into how to put a photo into your widget in a little bit, but um, I'm gonna show you how to edit a widget once it's on the screen. So we're gonna go to widget and go back to the medium one option that I made earlier. And there you go. Now they got a little starting point. Again, like I said, you can change this as life goes on. And after you start adding a bunch of icons and a background color and it doesn't fit anymore, you can change it, okay? So don't, don't feel like you're married to this widget you know, set up right now. The next thing we're gonna do is get our aesthetic down, okay? So this is how you are going to choose the feel of your home screen. I love the color green, obviously. I feel like green is actually a really popular color right now, but I've always felt like it represented my brand, Chelsea Jade, the best. That's what I had like as my ebook planted. Um, I've kind of always gravitated towards the color green because I think, like I said, represents all of those things. Sporty, motivating, health and wellness, calming, relaxing, and you know, nature. So here's what my Pinterest board looked like. These are the images I wanted to use. This is the feel that I wanted my home screen to, you know, replicate. So I went through, I was like, okay, stick to greens, stick to light blue, stick to water, nature, um, sporty, vintage, luxe. Once you're happy with your Pinterest board and how that looks all together, if it's very cohesive, then you're gonna like the way that your home screen looks if you base it off of those colors and that aesthetic. That being said, now that you have your Pinterest board all set up great, 
fabulous, wonderful. We're gonna set a background color. So I have this sage color as my background because I think it's contrasting with the dark green widgets and also contrasting and, and pretty with um, the icons that I chose. So this is how you're going to change your background color, your, your um, wallpaper. You would assume everyone knows how to use Google, but you would be surprised. So literally I'm just gonna search sage green background images, go to images, and I found this really pretty color that I liked. So I screenshotted it, whoops, did it twice, and edited it into a just solid background, saved that to my photos. And now to actually add it to your wallpaper, you're gonna go to settings, click on that, and go down to wallpaper, who would have thought, click on that, and go to choose a new wallpaper. Once you are there, you can go down, if you put it in a specific album, go ahead and find that album choose your desired wallpaper. I have that green color again. And there you go. You can adjust the, the size or whatever, set it and set it as your home screen. There you go, folks. Super simple, super easy. Before we use Shortcuts app and decide which icons we want for which app, we need to decide which apps we actually want visible on our home screen. A lot of us, I know I did before I got the iOS 14 update and customize my own. I had a trillion apps, not literally a trillion, but I had a lot of apps on my home screen that I could swipe through. I had a lot of folders, I had a lot of, you know, junk. I'm gonna show you how to condense and simplify your home screen so that it's not showing all of your apps. Because if you're like me, you basically just swipe down and type in an app that you're looking for anyways because it's too hard to go through all the apps. But anyways, I'll show you how to do that here. Okay, hold down your screen anywhere and it should bring up this little bar with these dots. Click on that, that's gonna bring you to all of your pages. So whatever pages you don't want visible, go ahead and uncheck those. Unchecking them will hide that page. It will not delete the apps, it will just hide them. So now you have your home screen with just your most used apps. Okay, so now you've picked your base apps, your most used apps, and now you're ready to change those images, but not yet because we need to pick which images we actually want before we start actually inputting them in. You have to choose if you want photos for your apps or little icons as your apps. If you want icons, I'm going to link my iOS 14 customization pack for you in the description below. You can go check it out on my website. Again, I linked in my description. Go check it out. I put some of my photos that you guys can use. I put um, wallpaper and I put a lot of the stuff that you're going to need to customize it if you want a similar look to what mine is. If you want to do your own, if you have, you know, say you're doing a red theme, then you can go on and I'm sure you can buy a pack somewhere from somebody. I would just Google like red icon iOS 14 pack or something like that. What I did, I just went through Pinterest and used and screenshotted a bunch of photos that I liked from Pinterest along with a couple of my own photos. Um, I'm sure people have photo packs that you can buy. Pinterest also or Google has a bunch of just regular backgrounds. You can look at like silk background, silk green background or um, money background, whatever it is that are free. You can get a lot of free stuff on the internet. The easiest way to do this is to assign each photo an app and add it to an album called that app, whatever that app's called, so Instagram or something. You're going to go to your photos, you're gonna click on the photo, you're gonna click this button right here, go to add to album, new album, and you're gonna insert, and you're gonna insert Instagram icon, save. Now it's its own album, very easy to find, very easy to remember. And I want you to do that for all of the apps that you've decided are going to be your main apps on your home screen. So go ahead and do that. And now I'm gonna show you how to import the photo as the app icon. Excuse me. Okay, we're gonna pull up our shortcuts app, open that up, click this plus button right here, add action, go to scripting, click scripting, click open app. Now you're gonna click on that little choose button and choose whatever app you want that icon to open up. So let's say Twitter, for example. You want it to open Twitter, click these three little dots up here, click add to home screen. Now you're gonna change the name to whatever app it is, so Twitter. Then you're gonna click this little square right here, go to choose photo, if it's in your photos, if it's in your files, choose file. 
pick the picture that you had assigned to it, choose and add. Now you're gonna click done. This is gonna take you to this page, click next. Type in Twitter, because this is what you're gonna tell Siri to open up if you ever wanna do that. Next. And there you go, it's added to your home screen. Now you can move it around wherever you want. Okay, so now is the fun part. Now you have basically all of your pieces together. You can probably already see, I like this part, I don't like this. I wanna change the, out, the layout of this. Now you get to be creative. The last little part is adding custom widgets. So these are on mine, like the little quotes that I have or the photos that I have. So pick a couple photos that you like. Again, I like to add them to an album and just call it like, widget options and add some quotes that you find um, you can make your own quotes you can put some photos you can find them from pinterest like i said anything that you want and now you can add them and kind of see where they fit into your aesthetic so start moving things around okay, so we just added another widget small number four click default widget you guys know how to do this by now right right go down to the custom photo option click photo go down to the selected photo tab choose photo we're gonna choose this really cute photo of nick i want to stare at that all day every day so yes i want to add it to my home screen go back whoops go to back and save that nice so it's small number four so we're gonna hold the screen down again go back up to the plus sign go down to widget smith this is getting old right guys okay we just made a small one so we're gonna add that widget push done now we're gonna hold onto the widget, push edit widget, click on that option. Remember it was small number four. There we go. Now we can kind of move that wherever the heck we want. So hold it down, edit home screen. Now, wherever you want his cute face to be, you can put it and this is where the fun begins. Now that you have all of your, you have your background, you have your icons, you have your widgets, you have your custom ones. Now you can move things around into the layout that you so desire. I think I about covered everything. If I forgot something, or if you guys are confused, please leave a comment. I tried to make it as clear as possible. Um, I hope you guys have fun. I wanna see what you guys create with it. That's about it for the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you really liked it and if you are going to use it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel or do something nice for me. You know, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. And absolutely do not forget to check out AnnaLuisa.com. I linked it in the description. Go click on the link. Use my code CJ10 for a 10% off discount. You will not regret it, I promise. I'll link this dress that I'm wearing in the description box. Yes, this is a dress, not a shirt. And anything else that I mentioned in this video, I will link in the description box for you. If there's something I forgot to link, please comment below um, and let me know. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. It means a lot to me. Like I said, smash that like button and subscribe if you want to you can also follow me on instagram at chelsea jade curtis or my tiktok chelsea jade curtis or our podcast what we said podcast or our balance boss course which is balanceboss.co or on instagram balance boss co i hope you have a fabulous day i love you bye